Hi, girls and boys. It's so nice to see everybody. We're here for our Sunday School lesson, and we're going to start with our theme song this morning. It's called The Story. Hopefully you know it by now. I'm going to sing. Miss Melissa is going to do the motions. So if you're not already standing up, stand on up and sing and move with us to The Story. I love to hear, hear, hear the story. It's all about God's grace and glory. I love to hear the old, old story of God's amazing love. I love to read, read, read the story. It's all about God's grace and glory. I love to read the old, old story of God's amazing love. I love to tell, tell, tell the story. It's all about God's grace and glory. I love to tell the old, old story of God's amazing love. Hey, Sunday School friends. We are on week nine, reading through the story for children, which we know are all our collection of Bible stories. And with week nine, that means we only have one more week until we are actually all the way through the stories of the Old Testament. Well, before we get to the three chapters that we read this week, I brought something along with me. Now, you probably won't be surprised that I brought something because I usually do. Well, I brought a toy that was around some 40 years ago when I was a kid, and it was a toy that I so very badly wanted. Now, I never had one for my own, which was okay because I had some friends who owned this toy, but I loved this toy. This toy actually may look kind of familiar to you because, believe it or not, 40 years later, you still can find this in the toy aisle of Target or Walmart. So let me show you it. Maybe it will look familiar to you. Look familiar at all? Well, if you're not sure what this is, this is something called the Magic 8-Ball. And here's why I love the Magic 8-Ball. The Magic 8-Ball was something that you could ask questions, questions about things that you wanted to know about your future. And when you asked that question, you could shake it up and it would give you an answer or a prediction of what was going to happen in the future for you. Now you had to ask your questions kind of carefully because the only answers it would give were yeses and noes in some way, shape or form. So when I was a kid, I would say, hey, Magic 8-Ball, am I ever going to get married? And I'd give it a good shake and read what it said. Or I might ask a question like, am I going to have a lot of kids? And I'd shake it and see what it says. And even though I knew that this magic eight ball was really just a fun game, it wasn't really anything reliable or trustworthy or something that I knew was going to be very accurate. I still enjoyed asking it questions about my future. And even though it wasn't reliable, it still sometimes gave me hope about what might happen in my future. So today, I brought this with me because we read our last three chapters about people called prophets. We heard about a prophet named Isaiah, one named Elijah and Elisha, and even one named Jeremiah. And if you read your story, you know that these prophets were messengers for God. And they had many messenger messages to share with God's people. God chose these prophets directly to give them messages to share. Some of them were messages about, oh, you better be careful. You're not listening to God's rules for holy living. But a lot of them were messages about things to come, things in the future. And these things to come, these messages, gave people hope. Kind of like my magic eight ball did a little bit. I, in fact, the prophet Isaiah, one of his messages to people delivered to him through God was about the telling about the birth of baby Jesus, God's son given for us. And that gave those people lots of hope. It gives us all hope to know that God has a plan for us. In fact, all of the prophets and their messages all pointed back to God, God's love for us, 
God's plan for us, and it gave us hope. Now, here's the difference, though, about the prophets and my little magic eight ball. My magic eight ball was not reliable, and it was not accurate, and it predicted the future for me. The prophets were not predicting the future. Their words were actually God's words. And we know from all our other readings that God's promises are always kept. Here's one last thing before I leave you today. Prophets like Elijah and Elisha and Isaiah, Samuel was a prophet. They were prophets from the Bible that we read about, but you can be a prophet too. You can share messages of God to your family, to your friends, to your neighbors and your community because God's messages are always one of love and one of hope and God's plan to save us all. They're not predictions, they're promises that will always be kept. So we're gonna end like we always do with a prayer. So when you're ready, let's take a moment to fold our hands, take a deep breath, close your eyes, and we'll say a prayer to end our children's chapel today. Dear God, allow our eyes, our ears, and our hearts to be open to look, hear, and feel your messages of love and hope. Help us to be your messengers too, to share with our friends, our neighbors, and our community. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. See you next time.